Occasionally, you come across a situation where you just have no idea what to do. For this two-part series, I've put together a list of 16 shots that probably only come up once every 100 games or so, but could give you that little edge that you need to get over the hill and win that match. In this first scenario, you have both the object ball and the cue ball frozen to the long rail but on opposite sides of the side pocket. The shot is nearly impossible to pocket if you try to use center cue ball and a straight stroke. Even a perfect hit could be ruined by the points of the side pocket. Instead, what you want to do here is shoot the shot with bottom right. The deflection will initially send the cue ball away from the rail and the points of the side pocket, but the bottom right then grabs the felt and begins redirecting the cue ball back into the object ball. This is a bit of a touchy shot, but once you get it down, you can pocket it pretty consistently. In this next scenario, we're going to be playing bar rules 8 ball, where ball in hand has to be taken from behind the line. You can imagine a scenario where your opponent's balls are blocking any decent regular kick shot that you would normally shoot. Instead, we're going to kick to the long rail just past the second diamond to get it right outside of the box with a ton of bottom right. The bottom right does a slight mass A to get you headed parallel with the line, and then the right takes off the cushion, sending the cue ball towards the eight ball. This next shot is pretty well known, but still, a lot of players just don't have a consistent enough stroke to execute it. So I'm going to put it on this list. Here we need to get down to the in rail, but we have a really awkward angle that doesn't offer natural position. In this shot, you have to load the cue ball up with a ton of topspin that will take once it bounces off the rail. When I see people fail to execute this shot, it's usually because they're trying to hit it too hard or they're not hitting high enough on the cue ball. All you have to do with this shot is hit with a medium stroke and hit really high towards the miss cue limit at the top of the cue ball. In this next scenario, we're playing 9 ball, but we've been left with what seems like an impossible shot. If we cut the 9 down in the corner, we're going to scratch. The safety is low probability, and the bank is also just as difficult. Instead, there's an extremely simple safe shot that most players just aren't aware of. All you have to do here is roll up and softly nudge the 9 ball, hitting it as full as possible. The cue ball will go into the jaws of the side pocket, forcing your opponent to kick at the 9 ball. I actually got to play this shot in a big tournament just a few weeks after I learned it, and it won me that game. This next shot is pretty well known, but I think it deserves to be on this list. This is where you end up corner hooked and have a ball either in the corner pocket or along the same rail that you're hooked behind. Here, all you have to do is aim the center of the cue ball at the center of the point, and it should get you pretty close every time. All you have to do is spend about 5 minutes or so practicing this shot, and it's something you'll have in your back pocket for the rest of your career in the game. This next scenario is admittedly quite rare unless you play games where balls get spotted back up, such as 1 pocket, 5-9, or Filipino rotation. But the first video I ever made on this channel was actually about this shot. In this scenario, two balls are frozen to each other and on the point. If you line up the cue ball just right, you can actually pocket the object ball that is on the point in the corner pocket. All you have to do for this is place the cue ball on the line that runs from the point to a little bit inside of the first diamond. Hit the object ball dead on with a lot of good action draw. The draw actually transfers forward spin onto the object ball and sends it into the corner pocket. The shot takes quite a bit of practice, but it is easier if you place the cue ball closer to the object ball. Number 7 is something I saw Efren do in a match, and is one I actually did a breakdown and recreation on. But it's quite simple and very easy to execute, and deserves to be on this list because it can be used in a variety of scenarios. Essentially, if you're close to the object ball, and you have a problem ball nearby that is stopping you from getting position, you can just jack up a little bit, and jump the cue ball into the object ball, and then over the problem ball. It sounds kind of crazy, but it's much easier done than said. Basically, the cue ball hits the object ball while it's still in the air, and this knocks it up even further into the air and over whatever problem balls there were. This next shot is easily my favorite shot on this whole list, and I actually saw Corey Duell pull this shot off in the US Open in the 2000s. Unfortunately, I can't find the video of him shooting it, but it's something that can really save you in a scenario where you just have no other options available. Here, I ended up close to dead straight, but the 9 ball is all the way on the other end of the table. Whether I follow or draw, I risk not making it past either corner pocket. And I could play rail first, but even that doesn't offer much angle to reliably get all the way down table. Instead, I'm going to elevate and essentially mass A the cue ball. You can pretty reliably pocket the object ball here because you're so close to it and the spin doesn't really have enough time to take before hitting the object ball. After it does hit the object ball and pockets it, the spin takes, sending the cue ball down table for position on the 9. This is definitely a last resort kind of shot, but it can really get you out of a tough bind. And that is it for part 1 of this 2 part series. Part 2 should be coming out within the next week. If it's already out, you'll see it right here, so go ahead and click on it. If not, check out some of my other videos in the meantime.